Hello everybody, here, here we have Mary's Lake and I, this is going to answer the question to why we're seeing this type of return. We'll go back a year ago, nothing. You can reference other videos. Uh, Dutch was asking the question of why we're seeing this. Uh, I believe I have the answer uh, after some digging, uh, but here you go. We're seeing this type of return. We're seeing an increase of activity around Yellowstone, increased activity of earthquakes around other parts of the United States, uh, strange weather. Here we go. Dual polarization radar training for the Northwest Partners. Between now and the end of 2012, the entire fleet of WSR 88D's weather surveillance radar and 1988 Doppler is scheduled for a major software and up hardware upgrade. This upgrade, known as dual polarization technology, will greatly enhance these radars by providing the ability to collect data on the horizontal and vertical properties of weather, e.g. rain and hail, and non-weather, e.g. insect and ground clutter targets. Hmm, ground clutter. Would that include us? Targets. The Radar Operations Center has made the deployment schedule available, but keep in mind that the schedule may change over time. In support of this technology upgrade, WTB has developed online training to help the Northwest partners learn about this system changes and provide ideas on how they may effectively incorporate the, these new data into their decision-making processes. To develop, two different training paths are available depending on your meteorology background. Okay, I'm going to provide these links underneath my video. If we go over to the deployment schedule, uh, there's some interesting timelines. Hmm, Billings, Montana, 1024, 2011 to 1030, 2011. That was the deployment date to have this implemented. Uh, it's already been implemented. 24 October 2011 it began. Uh, 6 November 2011 it was completed. Billings, Montana. Another interesting one, Riverton, Wyoming, 7 November 2011 to 20th November 2011. It was completed. Okay, Riverton, Wyoming. Why is that important? That sits at the base of Yellowstone in that little crevasse or valley area that's always lit up. Important to note, Billings, Montana is up here. We're seeing that striation of, of beams coming out the energy beams of this new polarization radar. I believe it's penetrating the ground, propagating itself into these different locations. Either that or all these different locations are propagating and, and impregnating this energy into Yellowstone. The other one over in Idaho, uh, my previous video, I suspected that maybe this radar had been penetrating and this was an induction. And I seen a beam shooting out of here when I saw the beams coming into uh, Yellowstone and then going over to Idaho and then coming out of here. Okay, look at the dates on on here. They've been implemented in Oregon, uh, Langley Hill, Pendleton, Oregon, Washington, Spokane, Washington, Amarillo, Texas, Chicago, Illinois, Michigan, uh, Georgia, Ohio, Kansas, Memphis, Tennessee, Minnesota, and we can go on and on and on. You can look at this graph yourself. Uh, I thought there was only 25 of them in the United States, uh, but now I understand that they're going to implement these throughout the whole year. It's going to be everywhere. And if you look at the areas that they've already been in and the test cities that they've already been in, we've already seen an increase of tornadic activity. We've already seen an increase in, in seismic activity in these areas. Uh, look at Oklahoma City. Um, I showed you on a previous video on my previous channel the high return of this of this radar station then we had the 5.6 earthquake look at the areas where these are lit up we're seeing an increase of tornadoes this year we're seeing bird deaths uh, we're seeing seismic activity at Yellowstone we're seeing seismic activity in Washington we're seeing seismic activity all around the United States where these stations have been put into practice please talk to your representatives of your state ask questions please this stuff may be energizing us. Our lifespan may be shortened because of these radar systems. 
It can't be good. What's not nature is not healthy. Please look into this technology. I'll leave all the links below. Thank you very much.